Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about two properties of circles called arc measure and arc length. Now, in previous lessons, we have learned that an angle with its vertex on the center of a circle is called a central angle. Like, for example, this angle right here, it has its vertex on the center of a circle. And we've also learned that something called the measure of an arc of a circle is equal to the measure of its central angle. So in this circle right here, circle Q, I can see I have central angle right here. And this piece of the circle right here, that's an arc. And you can see that this angle right here, the sides of that angle are kind of cutting out that arc on this circle. So the measure, when I talk about the measure of this arc, it's the same thing as the measure of this central angle. So for example, if this central angle were, let's say, 72 degrees, if the measure of this central angle is 72 degrees, then we would say the measure of this arc, and let's call this arc, let's say that's going to be PQR. I'll make these points P and R. Then the measure of arc PR would be 72 degrees, same as the central angle. All right. Now, a couple things to note about arcs. There are minor arcs, major arcs, and semicircles. A minor arc, there's three things you need to know about a minor arc. One is that it is, uh, its measure is always less than 180 degrees. So for example, arc PR here would be a minor arc. And it's always labeled using two letters. Like for example, not PQ. For example, this arc here, arc PR, we would write that down like this, arc PR, using two letters. A major arc is an arc whose measure is greater than 180 degrees. And for major arcs, in order to label the arc, you need three letters, or three points on the circle. So for example, this arc right here, P arc, is a minor arc. If I wanted to look at this other arc, like the other piece of the circle, the one that goes all the way around this way, I would need another point on the arc. So let me just add another point here. Let me put a point right here, and I'll call that, um, how about K? I'll call that point K. So now I can talk about this major arc here, PKR, and I would label that arc using three letters and that little curvy symbol over the top, which means arc. So this is arc PKR, and in fact, I can tell what the measure of arc PKR is going to be also because this arc, that would be the measure of this angle here. Well, since I know the, the entire circle is 360 degrees and I know this central angle right here is 72 degrees, well then the rest of it must just be 360 minus 72 degrees, which is 15, 8, 288 degrees. So the measure of arc PKR would be 288 degrees. Right. And I would write that like this. Measure of arc PKR equals 288 degrees. This one I would write measure of arc PR equals 72 degrees. Now a semicircle is just an arc whose measure is equal to 180 degrees. All right, and that one, for example, if I were to draw in one, say if I were to draw in a line here, and if I made that a diameter of my circle and I gave that a letter here, let's call that, um, how about Z? So I would say this arc here, ZR, would be equal to, let's say, the measure of arc ZR equals 180 degrees. Now, for semicircles, sometimes I've seen them labeled both ways. Sometimes I see them just labeled with two letters. Sometimes I see semicircles labeled with three letters. I typically just use two, but you'll sometimes see it both ways. But anytime you've got an arc whose measure is exactly 180 degrees, you know that's a semicircle. Now, let's talk about something else, another property of circles, which is arc length. And the first thing we want to note about arc length is that arc length is not the same as arc measure. 
They are related, but they're two different properties of a circle. So let's take a look at this circle right here, circle Q. And I can see, according to my diagram here, that it has a radius of 32 centimeters. Well, if I wanted to calculate the circumference of this circle, I know how to do that because I know what the formula for the circumference of a circle is. It's just 2 pi r. And in this case, I've got a radius of 32 centimeters. So if I punch that into my calculator, then I will get a number that is approximately equal to 201 centimeters, 201 point something. So I know the circumference of this circle is 201 centimeters. Well, arc length is the length of a, an arc. That is to say, it's a piece of the circumference of the circle. All right. So for example, let's say that I wanted to look at, let me draw this line in here, make an angle here that's 90 degrees. And so let me call this, let me get some names in here. Um, how about if I call this point P up here and point R right here. Now I've got this arc here, arc PR, and I know that the measure of arc PR is 90 degrees because it's the same as the measure of its central angle. Well, if I wanted to know what the length of this arc is, not the measure, but the length, the length of this arc is just going to be a piece of the circumference. It's going to be some percentage of the circumference. And you can probably guess that it's going to be, in fact, 25% of the circumference of this circle. And that 25% comes from the fact that 90 degrees is 25% of 360 degrees. And in fact, that's how we calculate arc length. So if I say the arc length, let me just say AL for arc length. Arc length of arc PR, PR is going to be equal to the circumference times, in this case, it's going to be a certain percentage. It's going to be 25% times 25%. Well, again, I get that from 25% is 90 divided by 360. So let me go ahead and write out this whole thing. The circumference is 201 centimeters times 90 over 360. That's where my 25% comes from. And if I multiply that out, I'm going to get 25% of approximately 201, which is about 50 centimeters, 50 point something centimeters. All right. So what we have here is we've essentially got a formula for calculating arc length. Our arc length formula then is going to be arc length is equal to the circumference of a circle times the central angle divided by 360. The central angle divided by 360 gives me the percentage of the circle that is going to give me the arc length. All right. So let's take a look at how we might use this formula in another example. Find the length of arc JL. So here's arc JL, this arc right here. And I know two things about my circle. I know it has a radius of 7 centimeters, and I know the central angle of this arc, JL. The central angle is 109 degrees, which means I know that the measure of arc JL is 109 degrees. Well, that means I have all the information I need in order to calculate the arc length. First, I'm going to calculate the circumference of this circle, which I can do because I have my radius. So the circumference is 2 pi r. So let's see, 2 pi times 7, which is 14 pi. And let's go ahead and write that as a decimal. If I take my calculator and I say 14 times pi, I get 43.98. So 43.98 centimeters. And now to find the length of this arc, I want to find out what percentage of the arc is 109 degrees. Well, 109 degrees, if I divide that by 360 degrees, then I'll find what percentage this is of the whole circle. So let's see, let me write this. Uh, my percentage is going to be 109 divided by 360. And let's see, 109 divided by 360 is 
0 0.30, it's approximately 0 0.303. So it looks like this arc is about 30% of the entire circle. Well, now I know what percent of the circle that arc is. I can just multiply that times my circumference, and I have my arc length. So arc length then is going to be circumference 43.98 times my percentage here, which is 0 0.303. And 0 0.303 times 43.98 equals 13 point, approximately 13.32 centimeters which I can see is about 30% of the circumference. 13 is about 30% of 43.98, and I've just calculated my arc length.